Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome back to the party. It is me, your girl, Britt Reacts. And today, we're going to react to something a little different. This is comedy by Rod Paulette. It's called Black People Are Scared of Black People Too. Let's see what he has to say. I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. We didn't get the parade. We got the month, Black History Month. That's our, that's our, uh, not a big fan. Never liked it. Here's the truth. Everybody's got a month. I don't know if you know that or not. In America, everybody's got a month. If you check the calendar, everybody's got a month. Everybody's there's got a, a month. Asian month. There's Hispanic month. There's LGBT, X, Y, Q month. And everybody's got a month. Just Black History Month is the one that's gotten all the, all the fame, right? And like all I said, the fame. never liked it. Mainly because I went to a predominantly white school growing up. Uh, and I was the only black kid in my class. And I don't know why you bother having Black History Month when there's only one black kid in the class. <laughs> you know, hey, Rod, we're going to take 28 days and just point out how different you are than everyone else in this room. As someone who went to predominantly PWIs their entire life, the hilarity in that, the, the, the truth in that is beyond. It really is beyond. It, it can get awkward sometimes you're like, Everyone's turned around looking at you <laughs> like, I didn't ask for this month. I didn't ask for it. In my house, every month is black month. I'm black. They black. Everybody's black around me. I didn't, I don't need this month. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. I've never heard of him before. Um, but I mean, yeah, that's funny because it's true. That won't work on your psyche, will it? A little bit. <laughs> I'm serious, my teacher would do that. Okay, tomorrow, Rod's gonna bring in something else from Africa because it's Black History Month. <laughs> and no. Like, no. 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 <laughs> I can bring you something from Cleveland. I have never been to Africa. <laughs> I don't know how I got in this prep school. I'm not that smart. <laughs> I can't find Africa on a map. <laughs> I went to a school with 437 kids in it, 11 black kids. I'm the only black kid in my class. And here's the thing with kids, man. They tease you just because you're... 437 kids, 11 black. First off, it's a small school. I think my graduating class had like 900-something kids in it. My graduating class. Did you hear me? No, it was like 700. My graduating class. He said his whole school had 400-something kids. And out of those 400-something kids, 11 of them were black. Uh, so I think he really is speaking from his experience at a prep school, which is funny. Uh you're different. They just, I'm the only black, they just tease, they, it's not racial, they just tease me because I'm different, right? I remember one time we took a school field trip to New York City and my classmates kept asking me, hey Rod, Rod, <coughs> Rod, take us up to Harlem, <laughs> show us around, you'll protect us, won't ya? <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. I'm nine years old, I'm not protecting right. anybody. What, what do they I think came he's... on the same bus from Ohio, you idiot. Right, like is he gonna just pull out his black card? Like I, I'm black, I'm protecting this whole group. Like what? First of all, long gone are the days where schools take field trips like out of state. What a time to be alive, I guess. I don't think I'm from that era. I think my era ended right at like on the cusp of being able to get out of town on a school field trip. That's crazy. From Cleveland to New York. Think about it, y'all. On a bus. It'll never happen nowadays. Never happen. It said, I don't know anything about it. Here's a little tip, because apparently white people, you don't know this, but black people, um, we're scared of black people too. So, and if you're black and you don't laugh, you're lying to yourself. You know what I'm talking about. Everybody black has had that moment where you walk in somewhere and there's a whole bunch of black people you don't know. You go, whoa, what is going on here? Get your... I agree with him. If you are of melanated skin and you are not agreeing in some way, shape or form to this, like you haven't had a moment where you're like, hold up, hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up. There's a, there's a gas station on the corner you don't go to. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's a certain club you don't go to. Like, you know what I mean? Cause you just know there's some nonsense there. You know that there's, there's something that's not for you in that place. <laughs> Oh, this is funny. He's funny. Everybody black has had that moment where you walk in somewhere and there's a whole bunch of black people you don't know. You go, whoa, what is going on here? Get your purse, baby. We're not saying how these people are. That's how bad this country really is in terms of like how we treat each other, right? Like, it's so like true. how bad the stereotypes are, right? I'm, I'm afraid of my own people. I'm going to tell you a, a true story. I uh, went to the airport uh, three years ago to go to Tampa, Florida. 
And uh, when I got to my gate, it was all black people. All black people. <laughs> like, there were 122 black people getting on the plane. And I'm like, what is going on? What? I, I was too... Is there an event that I don't know about? Is Essence Festival going on? Like, that is... That... Th yeah, that's enough to be like, where are we going? What either... What is going on in Tampa or am I getting on the wrong flight? Like, where... What? Concern, right? I'm like, what am I flying? Soul plane? What is happening? Am I flying soul plane? Is Kevin Hart the pilot? What is happening? <laughs> I got so nervous, I called the flight attendant. Who are all of these people? I call my own people these people, right? And then she got cute. I thought they came with you, sir. No, 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 that didn't happen. I didn't bring a hundred and something. And then she got cute. That's also such a black thing to say someone got cute means they got smart with you not that they're pretty she got cute with me he tried to get cute that means he he he, he tried to shade me <laughs> i thought they came with you sir that's a good comeback <laughs> this is funny he's funny you got cute i thought they came with you sir no 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 that didn't happen i didn't bring a hundred and some black people to the airport in my ford focus what are you ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> That's the reality, oh, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of dying. all the stuff that you hear in the world about race. The reality is we're exactly alike. Black people are scared of uh, black people in large numbers when we're not expecting it, just like you are when you go someplace, well, not here in Utah. But if you, <laughs> He's in Utah. You know, if you and you went to Las Vegas or some major city like Chicago or St. Louis, you would see a whole lot of black people and you would be, you would be scared because I've seen you. I've seen white people when you get in a room and it's all people that are not you. You get that weird high thing that you do. Hi. 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 <laughs> so that little wave thing. Hi, hello. Oh, oh. I am the exact same way. <laughs> I get somewhere and there's a whole lot of black people I don't know. I'm nervous too. That's why I live where I live with all the white gay guys. Because I used to live in an all-black neighborhood. I did, and uh, I was nervous all the time. And uh, you know, wow. This, you guys don't know anything about. I'm serious. It's, it's nerve-wracking. It really is. Cause I was, I was scared all the time, like, you know, because you live in all black neighborhood, you could get, you get robbed. Seriously, I'm not saying anything bad about my people. I'm just saying, you get, you know, that's what a guy could pull up in the moving van and take out all your stuff right out the front door, and your black neighbors will just look out the window going, ooh, he's getting robbed. No one is calling for help because it's not my business. I'm, it's not my business. I'm not, I am, that's none of my business. That's the code, y'all. What do you mean? Yeah, your neighbors are not calling for help. They're just gonna watch. They're, you know what I mean? And then they'll go retell the story to everybody in the neighborhood because they saw it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Baby, they got his big screen. They got his big screen. Maybe they, they got his big screen. <laughs> Should I call the police? You better mind your own business. <laughs> I told you. I told you. <laughs> That's why I like, I, like, I like having white neighbors. I really do. Because white people, you make a neighborhood safe. <laughs> You do because you're nosy. You ask questions. <laughs> you ask a lot of questions. A lot of questions. A strange questions. black guy pulling in my driveway. My gay neighbors will come outside. Hello, hi, <laughs> hi. I'm Steve. This is my boyfriend, Brian. Who are you exactly? <laughs> then I get home, right? I get the lowdown. Your friend Tyrone came by. He just bought a new car. He seems nice. Mm. <laughs> my guys take their neighborhood seriously, man. They do. Like, here's a, here's, a, here's a real thing. Like, if my guy hears, hears the noise outside, like, he gets up at 3 in the morning to go pee, right? And he hears the noise outside, and he looks out the window. And there's a guy out there messing with cars. He, he takes interest in that. What, what's going on out here? He's, honey, there's a guy out here messing with cars. Not only does he take interest in it, but he takes it as his responsibility to figure it out, fix it, or, like, insert himself. <laughs> I must go. Meanwhile, me, if I hear a noise, if I'm downstairs and I hear a noise upstairs and no one is home, I'm calling my husband. I'm not going to check that noise. If there's something going on outside, I'm not, I'm calling. Are you crazy? <laughs> that is none of my business. Do you understand? <laughs> cars. What time is it? Three? Wake up. There's a guy out here messing with cars. What is he doing? What does that man do? I'm, I'm going out there. I'm going out there. <laughs> And you do. You go right And you do. <laughs> Nothing on but boxer shorts, black socks, sandals. Right. Yelling at the guy. Hey, Not buddy, armed. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> you with the pistol and the ski mask on. What are you doing? 
Your black neighbors are looking out the window going, he's about to get shot. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. That's not even his car. Why is he interested like that? That man keeps his neighborhood safe because I wouldn't go out there. <laughs> I'm not going out there at all. Just, I don't, it's not even my car. I don't care. <laughs> even if it was my car, I don't care. I'm not going out there, sir. Take what you need and get to step in with your pistol and your ski mask. Oh, that's hilarious. He's funny. That was a good one. I thought it was hysterical if you couldn't tell. Anyway, all right, y'all. All fun and jokes, all lightheartedness. Please do not take anything serious here on this channel. Um, as far as comedy is concerned, I just think we all deserve to laugh and poke fun at ourselves and other people in a lighthearted, friendly way. And if that is leaning into stereotypes, so be it. Anyhow, uh, do me a favor, go and have the day you deserve. Peace.